What is going on guys? This is SJH Sports. Welcome your faces back to a brand new series on the channel. As you can see, it's going to include Football Manager 2019 and I'm so looking forward to this series. I love Football Manager. Um, I haven't played it for two years and I needed something just to get myself back into the swing of things. Uh, and I've made a new club. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little while. Uh, but if it's your first time around here, boys, remember to hit that subscribe button, ding dong the notification bell, and also leave a like rating on the video. So, from the title, from the thumbnail, you will see Youth Academy Regents FC. What I have done is I have gone into the editor through Steam. I've created a club, and I've called it Youth Academy Regents FC. Because this series is... This series, I've really always wanted to do a series on Football Manager or just to save myself on Football Manager, but I haven't been able to get my head around the, the certain aspects of Football Manager. And one being Regens. You guys know that I like Regens. Uh, I've got a FIFA series to do with Regens, and now I'm going to incorporate it into Football Manager also because I love I love the Regen things. And secondly, I've been watching a YouTuber called Golden FM. He's got a Regen Rovers save going on over on his channel. Uh, I think it's on episode number six at the time of recording. May, episode number seven may have gone live before this. So head over to his channel. Go check him out, guys, because the series is fantastic. There's some really, really good um, backstories to the players. There's some good players there and stuff. And it's all based around Regen, and that's what we're going to be focusing on. The main aim of the series is is to buy regens only. A bit like FIFA. We, we, we're only allowed to sign regens. Uh, and the way I've set this up as well, if you want to know how that is, uh, Golden FM is the place to be. Check him out. I've followed his instructions and stuff. I've made the club. He's got a tutorial on his channel of how he, how he did it. I basically copied it, did it all that, uh, and it works a treat. So, Youth Academy Regent is founded in 2018, which is literally the 2nd of July, as it says on Football Manager, which is which is great. I'm so excited. It's a new club. It's a new era. Um, also, one thing you will notice as well, I haven't done any badges and I've not done any kits yet for the series. Um, I want you guys to go ahead and try and tackle those for me. That would be greatly appreciated because I am so bad with designing things. I'm not, very, I'm not a creative person. I'm not a creative person when it comes to Photoshop. I know the basics of Photoshop, but I'm not that very I'm not that creative and I've seen some wonderful stuff over on YouTube. So I would like a home kit, an away kit, and a badge. You can tackle all three if you want. You can tackle just the one of them. Uh, and if I may if I do use you and you have Twitter, I'll mention you in a uh, in a future episode and stuff. I may not use your kits, I might just use your badge, I may just use your away kit, I may just use your home kit. Uh, I'm gonna put it out to you guys. Um, there, the colour palettes that um, I've, I've gone with for um, this series is blue, white, and gold. So in the comment section, no, in the description rather, they will be those palettes that you needed to insert to get the colours correct. What's in game? So like the background, you can see at the top, it's the goldy colour. I will give you that information for you, and it's pretty straightforward. And I'm looking forward to seeing what some of you guys produce regarding this. Now, like I said, Regen is. A massive place in my heart FIFA series based on regens and stuff and you know it's it, it it's so so fantastic that I've, I've managed to get my head around football manager I've taken like a good few days of trying to learn about regens in football manager and and how how they come about and and so I know I knew they had like a youth intake and stuff there's a certain date in the game where the youth players come through and that and that's all the real all really I knew so starting to save off like this, where regens are in the game, I've managed to do it. Uh, and again, go check out Golden FM's channel, boys. He is so close to 50k subscribers. I'd be greatly appreciated if you was to check him out. And leave a comment in the comment section below to say that I sent him. So then, let's get on with this. Then I'm going to be the manager. I have You probably noticed as well that we are going to play at the Jackson Stadium. I've done some um, background staff as well. I've created some background staff that is currently going on in my FIFA series as well. Um, I will show you, in fact, we'll show you them now. If I go over to board, overview, and we go to board members. Okay, so we've got Taylor Jackson being probably our best player on FIFA. He is the chairman of this Youth Academy Regions FC. We've got Navaretti as the managing director, and then we've got three other directors in Gandur, Colombo, and DuPont. I'm so excited about that. In terms of staff, uh, I've only basically created one staff member, and that is Simeon uh, Gallo. The reason why I was in two minds, I wanted Gallo to be my assistant, but I thought, nah, he can be head of youth development. 
just something a little bit different. Uh, for some reason, this working with youngsters has changed. I, I did change that to like 17, um, but I don't know why it's not saving. It's a bit strange, but I'm kind of glad in a way that it's not saving at 17 because I want, I kind of want him now to go and get his badges, to get experience and stuff. He's 43 years old as well, so he is, he is getting on a little bit, but I just thought I'd add him in as an addition. I was going to make him my assistant, but I didn't want him to leave the club, and that's the reason why when my board members, the chairman, Jackson, Navaretti, Gander, Colombo and Dupont, that's why I put him on the board, because I didn't want him to leave the club. Yes, there's a good chance I could still leave, but not getting, not be able to offer a contract from another club to go like Gallo could... He could literally, I could continue a couple of days. Another club come in for him, and we could sit down and talk with Gallo, and he could go to that club that comes in for him, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, if we go over to squad, we're going to take a look at our. Uh, and in fact, no, we'll take a look at the league that we're going to play. We're going to be playing in the Northern Premier League, and it's it's non-league. We're going to be a non-league club to start off with. The reason being is because we're going to be using regens, and there's not that many good regens in the game when you first load it up. Uh, one thing that does annoy me is you can see. Right at the bottom, we're 22nd. And how the badge doesn't align with walking and, and, the, and the text, that's really going to frustrate me, is that. Uh, if we go over to overview and season preview, you can see that we are pretty much 24 to 1. We're pretty much tipped for relegation. We're going to be in a relegation fight um, this season. And I'm looking forward to playing with the tactics, getting my head around everything, and just trying our hardest to stay up, which is... It's going to be a tough challenge because some of the players we've got in the squad, which we'll go through in just a little while, um, we've not got a full starting 11 as of yet. But in fact, let's go take a look at the squad right now. We've got Ty Green, then, who is going to be the standout player for us. I've also downloaded Work the Spaces um, custom view, if you like. As it gives me like the age of the players here, the name, the position, the ability, the last five games in, in terms of performances and stuff, appearances. Everything that I need is on this screen, on this uh, custom view that I need. It's on the Steam Workshop, boys, if you want to go download that. Uh, Ty Green is our first player. I'll go through these players here first. We'll go into our under-23s, our under-18s as well. And we'll just take time just to, to have a look at these players to see what positions we're going to need. Because this is our first team squad, boys. This is it. This is all we've got. So we may have to promote people from the under-23s and the under-18s, which doesn't look, doesn't look that cracking, to say the least. But... The ability and potential, then, um, as you can see, you've seen five stars. You're thinking, "Oh my God, he's got five star potential. He's going to be coming. He's going to turn into a world class player." The potential, if you didn't know, I think I'm um, 95 percent sure is only potential for the league you're in. So that's quite interesting. So we've got a top top player in Ty Green, and he's actually wanted by Kettering as well. So we need to get him tied down to a contract. Um, let's take a look at some of his stats. Then he is a centre back, and he can also play left back as well. So the main what I do like about Football Manager now as well is it highlights the actual stats, the attributes that you need for that type of position. So he's got five heading, he's got seven marking, he's got seven tackling. Uh, bravery is 14, which is very, very good. Leadership, 17. Jumping reach, 14. Natural fitness, 13. He's 24 years of age and he's an important player and he could still improve. That is Ty Green, our first, uh, first player that we're going to review. Next is Darren Robertson. He's looking pretty decent as well, 27 years old. He's a right winger. Uh, he can play in the attacking... Well, he's a right midfielder, I think we'll say. Um, he can play in the attacking right midfielder as well. Uh, great determination, great leadership, good acceleration, so that's good. We can get pace around it. So this gives us an idea of what type of tactic that we can build. Uh, normally, I will play out from the back, but because we're non-league, we may have to tweak a few things and, and, and whatnot just to see... Uh, how things go with that. So that's Darren Robertson looking pretty decent as well. Um, he's an important player as well and he could still improve, which is going to be good. We've got John Carpenter and then left winger. So we are going to have to get the ball out to the wings, boys, by looking at just those two players. Play to our strengths. That's what we're going to need to do. Pace is 14, acceleration 14, free kick taking 14, which is good. So we can work on set pieces and that. He can be our main guy that works on set pieces. We're going to go into full, in, we're going to go in depth. Uh, with this save, definitely. Uh, we've got Roy Ferguson next then. He's a first team player and he could still improve. 26 years old, he's English. Um, he's a striker. Uh, well, he's a pressing forward, which is good because I always like to have a pressing forward. Um, so leadership 16 as well, brilliant. Bravery 16, acceleration 12. Looking okay, great tackling, one. One on the tackling front there, boys. Um, 
it's interesting to see how these players will get on and stuff like that. There will be a lot of comings and goings, guys, throughout the course of the season, and we'll get our scouts out and stuff, and we'll get looking at regens and stuff. So that was uh, Ray Ferguson, wasn't it? I've just checked out, yes. So we've got Scott Blackout, Scott Backhouse then. Attacking midfielder, left or striker. I'll probably play him in the striker position because of his finishing. He's a pressing forward also. Um, is it, Can he play in the poacher role? A little bit slow. Little, the anticipation is a little bit low, but his finishing is good at 12. For this level, I think finishing at 12 is fantastic and that is superb. He can also play as a target man as well, which is interesting to see. So we'll have to just... There'll be a lot of tweaks along the way as well. Sam Caskell is next. Oh, finishing 14. Yes. That even at this level. So Caskell and... Uh, was it? I can't remember his name now. Back, backhouse. Two good strikers there. We're going to play the 4-4-2, I think. Um, looking at this so far, but it's looking pretty decent. Uh, jumping reach is seven, is is twelve as well. So he, he could he could play he could play target man, and we could play back house as a pressing forward. We'll have to see um, what tactic we go for and and what not. So he's looking okay. Gavin Anderson then centre midfielder. Uh, he's a backup player, which could still improve. But let's be honest, he's not really a backup player, is he? Uh, this is what I don't understand. Something like the names of these here, like I don't even know what that is. You know, so I'm going to have to spend time to learn learn that. Um, is it, it can play central midfield as well, so we'll highlight his attributes for that. Decisions is uh, off the ball, his passing's 9, his stamina's 12, so he's, he's okay, 27 years old, Gavin Anderson. And then next we have got Gavin Eyre, I think that's how you say it. He's a defensive winger, so he could probably play. Uh, with a bit of training, we may be able to train him up into the into like a right back. He's looking pretty good on the on his physical uh, stats there. It's good determination off the ball, leadership, teamwork's good as well. So we've got some okay, we've got some decent teamwork there. And our two goalkeepers, ooh, a little bit worried about this. Not looking too good. Uh, okay, he's got decent reflexes. It can be used as a sweeper keeper. Uh, Twenty seven years old is James Tivy. Uh, looking okay. Um, happy with him, 27, perfect. And David Turner, our other goalkeeper, an exciting prospect, but he's way off first team levels. So we're going to have to look probably getting another goalkeeper in. Um, he's got 14 on the reflex, his handling's 10. So, you know, he's only 16 years old. So, again, we could train this guy up. He could come an absolute beast. What's his potential? So, he's four stars. So, I think if we do some training with David Turner, you never know what he's going to be like. Let's just take a quick glance into our under 23s. And. Um, some of these may have to feature. Uh, it depends on what we do in terms of transfers and whatnot. Um, we've got William Greenhoe. Is it Greenhow? Greenhoe? He's looking okay. We'll just highlight. We'll go through all of these here. We'll just, uh, if I do mention any players and stuff, he's a left midfielder, which we've already got left winger at the club. Andy Oliver, uh, surplus to requirements, 22 years old. He's a no nonsense centre back. He's got tackling of five. But he does have good aggression and he has good bravery. Aggression. Means he could get sent off, I think. Um, we need to be careful of that. Under 18s, another look at this then. Not really any on the five star potential, which is a little bit disappointing. I was hoping that somebody would be there for the um, uh, five star potential, but unfortunately, we haven't been able to get it. But he's got 10 tackling. He can play as an inverted wing back. Um, can he play? Yeah, he can't really play centre back. Really. Mm. Yeah, we might have to see. We'll see what we do in the transfer window. But we know where we need to improve, definitely. If we go to our inbox then, we our stadium is going to be called Jackson Stadium. The home of Yar supporters are sure to be hoping he can make a difference with the team. They're talking about myself there. Uh, I'm going to skip the meetings because I made the club up, so I don't need to do anything like that. Tactics introduction, again, I'm going to do that off a of camera, off a of record, and we'll talk about it in episode two. And transfer window is in progress. Uh, Rio Mare is going to... Gone to Manchester City from Leicester, which we all know about, £60 million. £60 million. Uh, speaking of money, let's take a look at our finances then. I give us a budget of around and about £50,000. Um, give us a transfer budget of one. What I did with this is I just looked at the rest of the clubs in that division and the average was about £50,000 uh, and the transfer budget was £1. So I just thought, Do you know what, we'll just mirror that, uh, make things easy. But we're going to take a quick, we're going to have a... Got to, be, got to be careful on our finances, 100%. That's what we need to need to be careful of as well. And finally, we have pre-season preparation. So our pre-season friendlies are Dundee United, Ramsbottom, uh, Trafford, and is it Atherington? We're going to play them in pre-season. Let's take a look at our first competitive league game then. It's going to be against South Shields. It's funny that because my dad's born around that, well, he's born in Peter Lee, which is up that sort of area, uh, more further north than us. Uh, and we do have a friendly in between games there as well, which is a little bit strange. 
Um, but I'm not going to be. I might play the friendlies, might get used to doing tweaking the tactics, but normally I don't do that type of thing. It's just friendly. I'd just rather just let my assistant take control of it. Um, and we've got the likes of Whitby in here, Scarborough, Farsley Celtic. That well, no, sorry, they're called Farsley now. They used to be called Farsley Celtic. Matlock. So it's going to be an interesting league season without without. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this save. If we go over to scouting, uh, I'm just going to show you this as well. If we go over to players, player search, you can see. I've already done it. This is what it does for the regen's age uh, is between 15 and 17 years of old. And if you add this unique ID here, which you can right click, you can go to insert column general and then down here somewhere. I think it's already got it placed. It's in there. Unique ID is what you need. And if it starts with 19154, the guy's a regen. And we've got interesting transfers. So these two guys here, uh, we've got a goalkeeper there in Dan Holmes. Um, He's 17 years old. He's interested in coming to us. And I have turned off the attribute masking, or whatever it's called. Um, basically, what that means is I would have to have scouted this player to see his attributes. But because the save is going to be difficult, it's going to be difficult already. I thought I'd give myself a little bit, uh, save myself a little bit of time, save my scouts a bit of time, uh, and get uh, that done there. Great determination from this guy as well. He's valued at £300. Uh, he's a left back, Jack Graham, which we think I do need as well. Let's go over to a team report. Let's just see what this is about. Our strengths, our goalkeepers in the team are generally capable of handlers of the ball, which is good. We've got good aerial reach from the goalkeepers as well. Good reflexes, uh, tendency to punch the ball also. Jumping reach is good. Uh, leadership, the squad is full of leaders and strong characters, which is fantastic. Good fitness, good determination. Ty Green is a star quality option at centre-back, so we need to put him in there. Definitely. There are a number of young talents, prospect, young prospects, including uh, a couple of guys here. Adrian Wallace, I'm not sure, I've not looked at him. Exciting young prospect, we'll keep an eye on him. Definitely Sean Evans, let's have a look at him. He looks okay, he's a striker. Um, he may get a run out, we never know, we'll just have to see what happens. And then we've got Steve Hurd, he's a uh, good aggression acceleration. So, it, so we've got three decent standout players there. There are plenty of room in the wage budget for an additional £400 still to be spent. So that's where we're going to be looking at spending money. Um, probably on the free agents. We can't really afford to, but we've got no transfer budgets. So we can't really afford um, anything like that. Uh, an aggressive and a committed squad, which is good. Ty Green is very good at left-back also. So Ty Green can play left-back and centre-back. Uh, I will probably play him at centre-back, to be fair. And we've also got, where was it? Darren Robertson is an excellent on the right wing. We've already seen him looking pretty good. So our wings are quite solid in our wing play, to be fair, which is good. One of ones, the goalkeepers in the team are all very good in a one-on-one -on -one situation, which is good. So they are the strengths, the weaknesses then of the side. This list goes on for about nine out and it goes on for loads. Like I'll, I'll only read out a couple of these here. I'll I'll take a look at them in more in depth when I've stopped recording. Goalkeepers we could do with Justin James Tivy uh, to be able to play in goal. Defensive depth we need a lot more. Um, defensive depth could do with more than Ty Green to play at left back. He'll always obviously tell me as well uh, about Ty Green as, as a centre back as well. There is not a great deal of quality depth outside the first team among players currently at the club. So we're going to have to work hard. We're going to have to get players in and stuff. Anything else here? Just all pretty much attributes. Work rate, long throws. Yeah, strength. So that's basically that. Uh, I'm looking forward to this save, boys. I can't wait to get underway. Uh, we've couldn't, we, we've got two slots available for our coaching team as well, so we may look at that. Um, the board, the board feel the recruitment team is in need of a director of football, which we've already got in there. We've, we've got one physio out of the two. Um, let's take a look at our... Do we have we have a scout, don't we? I'm sure we have a scout. Um, head physio, chief scout, David Owen. Let's take a look at him. He come in. I just added him to the list. And judging players, uh, ability and potential, 3-3, three, three, which is not great, but... We're not league boys, so it's not going, we're not going to expect anything from that. Our assistant manager, take a look at him. Uh, again, he's regen, so that's quite good. Though. All our, all our, hang on, before I say it, all our staff members are regens as well, which is great. I'm happy with that. And obviously, there's our board, which you guys have seen. We spoke about that. Uh, we spoke about the schedule. We spoke about the league we're going to play in. Uh, dynamics. We'll have a look at this as well a bit later on. I will, I'll get 
dove myself into it. But this is going to be an introduction video, boys, and I hope you guys are excited as much as I am. Uh, I am going to wrap up today's episode. Uh, like I said, just introduction, go through what players we've got. Next episode will be a, will be a jam packed with all our transfers. I'll go through tactics. I'll go I'll go through pretty much everything that I possibly can, and I need to get players in. Well, regardless of how good they are or not, we need to get players into that first team, and we need to work on. I think for this season, the first season, it's all going to be if we've got, if I can get a one tactic right, I'll be using three tactics. If I can get that one tactic right, I think we'll do quite well in the league. We've got to stay up, boys, this season. That's our aim. Tune in for next time, boys, when I'll see you on another video very, very soon. And goodbye.